I'm going to show you just how multitasking our range is. I'm going to show you how to get this look with just four basic products. I'm going to start off with my concealer foundation shade 2.0 and we're going to apply that as a concealer around the eye area. With the fingertips is really great because this blends it in beautifully with the delicate skin around the eyes. I also always make sure that I conceal these outer corners too. And just up under the brow bone a little bit as well. I'm not gonna go onto the lid because we're gonna put something else onto the lid. Then the rest I'm gonna blend with our diffuser brush to give a beautiful diffused look to the skin. Remember less is more and a really small amount buffed over the skin will give you a beautiful skin-like finish that will last longer than it will if you try to put it all on at once and then chase it around to blend it in. Then if you have any extra blemishes to cover, you can just pop it on with the fingertip. Now for my brows, I'm going to use a little bit of Meteorite. So first I'm going to just brush these into place and then bring Meteorite through the hair in the brows. I can either wear Meteorite or Glint. Most days I wear Glint, but Meteorite is a little bit richer and deeper for me. So I make sure that I don't, I don't actually paint onto the skin. I'm just dragging it through the hair. And the great thing about this formulation of hybrid eye pigment is that it clings onto the hair nicely. So it becomes part of your hair and gives your brows a nice three-dimensional, multifaceted hair-like look instead of being too matte or too chalky. Then with the same shade Meteorite, I'm going to use this as my eyeshadow too. Blend it softly across the lid with the blender brush. And this too, you can layer to get your desired intensity. Then I'm gonna go up into the crease and just blend that into the crease, not too far above it. Making sure I don't come any further down than the outside corner of the eye too, because we don't wanna drag the eye down. Then back with the liner brow brush, I'm going to go underneath the lower lash line as well to finish it off. Then we're gonna to top it off with a little bit of mascara. Then last but not least, I'm gonna use the same shade for my cheeks and lips. I've chosen Rev. Rev is a really pretty mauvey pink. It was inspired by the flush of a child's cheek. So it's really natural, suits the widest range of skin tones, and it's a pretty one on your cheeks and lips. So there you go. That is a very quick, easy way to get the most out of your makeup by using four products.